Okay, so today I'm going to be reviewing my first Chinese car. This is the GAC Motors GS8 4x4. And so let's get into the specs. First thing first, this car is powered by a 2.0 liter four cylinder gasoline engine that produces 248 pound feet of uh, 248 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque which is pretty much 300 horsepower also uh online i was searching for the zero to 60 this is the funny thing but i actually couldn't find zero to 60 i searched in a whole bunch of places uh they didn't have the proper specs so i can't tell you guys the zero to 60 which would probably be around seven seconds and the top speed is in limited, most likely, 124 miles per hour. And so, now that I've told you guys the specs of this car, let's get into the design features of it. So let me bring you guys to the front and show you these front lights. Look at it like, uh, this is probably one of my favorite front features is the grill and the light. I'll be talking about the grill a little bit later, but check out these really strange looking lights. Like, this is like really cool design. These LED lights, they have all this cool metal design inside of them. One thing I love about Chinese cars is the, they're really like, they're really neatly designed. They might not be the most reliable and stuff like that, but they're really cool looking. You have this beautifully looking slanted grill, the G in the middle, which looks like a Georgia high. Uh, a football team, they have the same t looking G. But yeah, you have this cool little off-road design package. Well, at least that's what it looks like. If it was forced language, this would be off-road design package. I like the chrome and this like almost like, I guess you could call it dark Highlander green. But yeah, you also have these nice rims. Like, hey, this is just, <laughs> seriously. I uh, made a Ferrari F8 video six days ago, and well, no, five days ago, uh, I published it. And under these rims, if you'll see, there's the same type of star rim. Like, watch till like one or two minutes into that Ferrari video, and you'll see it has these same type of rims, just not with these chrome outside pieces. But yeah, so I already found one rip off. But yeah, also. You have these really beautifully designed lights. I love the attention to detail on these Chinese cars. Like, but yeah, they're always super cool, even though a lot of the times a lot of stuff is rip off. But you have these beautiful lights, your G right there. And the overall shape kind of reminds me of a, like a Hyundai Santa Fe. And, no, not like a new Hyundai Santa Fe. But it's just a American SUV, well not American, but it's like Japanese SUV. And it looks a lot like this, just without the type of rims and stuff like that. But yeah, you have your chrome roof rack, which is nice too. This has seven seats, just so you'll know. Just so y'all know, I'll be getting in this later. One thing I'm not a huge fan of though is this. Like, check out this. If you've ever watched the uh, car wash videos, here's this one short, how he's showing uh, how big the BMW and Mercedes, uh, it's for the electric car though, these uh, engine covers are. They're like, this is just a ginormous. Seriously, I don't think you need it that big. I feel like it's just over dramatic. But yeah, so we're gonna be going into inside. This is 2024, so. I'm really excited, also because I've never reviewed a Chinese car before. Hmm, what? Okay, what, what is this? Wait, this. Hmm. Where does this come from? Okay. Yeah, this is my first time. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but this is a really cool lighting. So let's hop in. Okay, now that we're inside, one thing I was super excited to show you guys is all the tech, even though I've never even touched any of this stuff. Just overall, like uh, what I know about Chinese cars, they have some crazy tech. But yeah, 
as I jump in, you have this luminescent lighting. It's like purplish blue luminescent lighting, which is clearly copied from Toy Toy for Mercedes models. I've already seen two things that have been copied. But yeah, you have that beautiful luminescent lighting, this type of like chrome look. These door handles are cool. You see Alpine speakers. Okay, the windows work. But yeah, it's nice leather, like black leather with like, I guess you could call it like white, like snow white stitching. But yeah, it has this nice little steering wheel. Everything is new to me, so I don't really know what any of this stuff is. But as I was talking about tech before, you're gonna see right here, you don't have normal uh, gog dash or yeah i think that's what it's called instead you have this this little screen right here wait let me try playing around oh see right there on the left side it's changing stuff i really don't know what any of this stuff means because this is all new you could turn volume up with this little button on the steering wheel right here and yeah one thing i want to show you guys too i just saw this look at this beautifully designed gear shifter look at how cool this is wow oh my god it's like 3d looking squares wow okay this is super cool i've never seen a uh, uh, gear shifter look so neat but yeah uh, i wonder what d mode means when we drive right now it's in the park you have an engine start stop button right there wait is this touch screen huh Okay, that's the cooler, and this is the heater right here. That's, okay, I don't know how to get off of them, because this is practically my first time. What? Okay, and then, then that's just straight up cool. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. Tesla has nothing like this. What? When I press this button, it's for this right back window watch the window roll off okay. Okay. okay for some reason i'm rolling all the windows up oh yes this button rolls the windows up this button rolls them all down and this rolls them all up okay tesla needs to use that well, even though I don't like Tesla, well, you know, Tesla shouldn't use this, but this is some really cool technology. You want to roll the windows all the way up and roll them all the way down. Now, that is super duper sick. But yeah. What? You could open it with this? Oh my god. What? Now, cl close it by doing like this. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Seriously? Okay. Okay, this is super exciting. I was telling you guys about all the cool and radical tech that these Chinese car companies have. I've just demonstrated some really cool stuff right now, if you guys are watching. And I wonder what this stuff is. Hmm. Oh, you could also mess with the seats. Healing, uh, healing. Okay, you could change the direction of the seats like this. There's just little buttons. Wait see i press this part the middle part of the seat right here and so watch i can move it. okay watch this i can move it forwards and back okay that's super cool you could do everything by the touch screen here you want to move now i think Okay, also you have to control the mirrors from here. I want to do the left mirror. You just go press the left side, right mirror. Like, I can't read this uh, language, but I just press on and I see. So this is right mirror. This is left mirror. And so, yeah, uh, I think you could... Okay, you could turn them and stuff. You could practically do everything from here. Hmm, what is this? Okay. Whoa! Oh, wait. Oh my 
Oh, do you see this light over here? Okay. No wonder Chinese cars are taking over the market. Check this out. Watch. See this light? Watch. Watch. Right now it's in this one. I'm gonna put it on orange. Switch to orange. Look. Watch this. Now I'm gonna go to red. Oh no, that was pink I went on. Now red. Now I'm gonna go to orange. Oh my god. You could see you could change the lighting all around the car, the front lights too. Okay, that's just like super duper cool. I didn't even know you could do it. Cause this is first experience. You could open this, mess with the mess with all the windows, open the back. Oh, oh my, okay, okay, I finally found out how to work these. Okay, this is left front window, the one I'm at, okay? Watch this, here, you wanna go put the window up, you have to hold this down, watch. Okay, you hear it going, now watch. Okay, okay, so you could control everything from this screen everything that's super cool and surprisingly this is an electric and it has all this radical tech you have the different modes eco snow sand comfort sport and mud that's all that's a lot of modes you have your navigation and stuff like that okay you could just look at the outside of your car i, mean, I don't know why maybe to see if the windows are rolled down no not for that but yeah so those are all the cool modes. Wow. Okay, that is super duper crazy. I never knew you could do this. Yeah, so I really like Chinese cars. They might have rip-offs and all that type of stuff, but the Chinese cars are really cool. Like, you have to say, like, they're really neat. So yeah. Now, let's get in the back seats. Okay. Now that we're in the back seats, you have this pretty comfortable interior. It's quite simple. Just have your simple uh, window roll up, your door handle, and a little space. I don't know, you could put a chocolate bar in there maybe. But yeah, you have this little cup holder thingy right here and more storage area. But this car seems like just came from the factory, so everything's still wrapped up. And... Yeah, this is a base price of $38,000. Highest price you could buy it for $44,000. And I think for that price, this is a really good bargain. I mean, it's cheaper. It's cheaper than a lot of those other SUVs. Like, I don't know how reliable it is, but like just from reviewing this car, I like this car a lot, personally. I like this car way more than when I first looked at it. But yeah, so if I could reach the seatbelts, okay, luckily the seats rip. You have this nice little dark brown coloring, or like I guess you'd call it like truffle brown. Let's test the seatbelts out. Okay. Uh, I guess we can't. Wait one second. Okay, the reason why I had to pause it for a second is because the camera would have been shaking all over the place. But yeah, these seatbelts are pretty nice. It's just these bottom ones don't move that much, but that's just for safety. Yeah, seatbelts are pretty good. Yeah, I like them a lot. This car is really comfy. Like, not like hyper comfy, but it's pretty comfy. It's as comfy as uh, Toyotas and stuff like that. Definitely, like, a little bit more comfy than Toyota Sienna. These side seats, though, are way more luxurious. They're nice, soft to the touch. And so, now I've told you about this second row, let's get into the third row. Okay, now I'm in the third row. The third row is about the same size as a uh, Mercedes GLS 550. That's the right one, yeah. That third row one, you have a good amount of space. Pretty comfy. A huge window. Oh yes, the car this reminds me of is the new Toyota Grand Highlander, which should be showing right now. And this is the car it reminds me of. This back windows exactly like highlander back seats remind me of highlander a lot 
The car overall reminds me of the Highlander, but kind of a little more luxurious. But yeah, it's really comfy. I don't know why these seats, uh, rest fall down so low. Wait, I don't know, you have to fold them up like that. I mean, maybe it's for like a one-year-old or something. But yeah, this car is really comfy. You have, uh, I mean, you have an okay amount of foot room. I mean, I kind of have to put my feet like that in order to make them fit because straight they kind of push up. But yeah, this is pretty good. Wait, I don't know <laughs> why they have this. Okay, you can move your seat back and forth like this. See this? Move it forward, move it back. Forward, back. back. Forward, back. Okay, so yeah, that's the third row. The seat belts are comfy. Let me just show you the trunk, then we can end this video. And remember to make sure to comment below what you guys think about this car. What score would you give it? Wait one second. Okay, now I'm gonna open the trunk and just show you. Let's see if it's, the trunk's spacious at all. Okay. You have a good amount of space back here. The seats are a little bit set back, but overall, I think you have pretty much as much space as the Grand Highlander. This is really cool that they, though, that they don't have on Grand Highlander, just like those seats. You, you can move, move this seat forward. Just press that button and it moves forward to make space. Okay, that could fold all the way down. Okay. Wait one second. Let me get this down. Let me fold that other seat down. The reason why I keep pausing the video because I barely know anything about this car. And so I'm already like finding out stuff. But yeah, okay. That's the amount of trunk space. You have a super good amount of trunk space if you're just driving. If you don't have like extra children, you have a good amount of trunk space. So let's put these seats back up and you'll end our video. But yeah. Overall, I, I like this car a lot. Let's just try to find out how to close this. Okay, you have to press that. But yeah, so tell me if you guys like this video. Remember to comment below and see you guys next time. Remember to like and subscribe to Zeron Reviews.